Till we get to the end, but that's where we begin. You feel it? Mannequins, and we breaking the mold. Breaking out, and we breaking the codes. Similar to the jack who stole to the depths in your web, so you take explosive. Get it out. Send your body to flight. Everybody got a target tonight. Everybody come along for the ride. All you studs and your duds and your ladies is fly. Grip the moment like you're gripping the earth. Feel the weight and you're feeling the girth. What's going on YouTube? This is Joe's McFly hitting you up with another reaction video to yet another Yankee game. Uh, today's game was great. I mean, talk about just what the doctor ordered. Today was that, man. I mean, the Yankees did a great job winning today. 12-3 behind Tanaka. It was a, a, a great win because um, we won on the back of the youngsters. Tanaka was uh, starting today for a while there toward the end of the game. I was actually forgetting because uh, the game was so long. But um, Tanaka came out today, and he followed up his great performance against Texas with another performance that was really good. It wasn't great. He didn't have his A stuff, but I thought he used more of his pitches. He mixed in and out. He didn't break. Yeah, he gave up. You know, Melky Cabrera kills the Yankees. It doesn't matter who's pitching. As long as they're wearing, um, they have the, the New York across the uh, the chest, he wants to just po uh, pulverize them. But um, other than that, I mean, that was it, really. I mean, he kind of, he kept the, the hitters off balance. He had a whole bunch of ground ball outs. I believe he had um, 13 ground ball outs today. So it was great. Uh, exactly what he did. So um, another good start. We got three uh, great starts in a row right now. And let's keep it going. You know, tomorrow with Sessa, it does start with the starting pitching. Even though the bullpen is struggling, um, you know, it starts with the starting pitching. Let's go ahead. Let's, let's get us some length. Let's get some quality innings in there and get the bullpen some much needed rest so that, you know, some reinforcements can get in. In and out, he didn't break. Yeah, he gave up. You know, Melky Cabrera kills the Yankees. It doesn't matter who's pitching, as long as they're wearing, um, they have the the New York across the uh, the chest. He wants to just po uh, pulverize them, but he kept the the hitters off balance. He had a whole bunch of ground ball outs. I believe he had um, thirteen ground ball outs today. So it was great. Uh, exactly what he did. So um, another good start. We got three. Uh, great starts in a row right now, and let's keep it going. You know, tomorrow with Sessa, it does start with the starting pitching. Even though the bullpen is struggling, um, you know, it starts with the starting pitching. Let's go ahead, let's, let's get us some length, let's get some quality innings in there, and get the bullpen some much needed rest so that, you know, some reinforcements can get in. But speaking of reinforcements, as I was saying, so, um, Today, they ended up having to put, and I said yesterday that the Yankees had to make a decision on Matt Holliday, and lo and behold, they did put him on the DL today. So, when they put him on the DL, also a couple of roster moves, uh, some popular, some may not be too popular. Miguel Andujar got the call up, but um, the Yankees ended up reassigning um, Chris Carter to Scranton Wilkesbury and he accepted that reassignment to the minor league team. So all in all, um, you know, <laughs> Yankee Twitter was going crazy because everybody felt like, oh my God, this guy's gonna come back. Because later on in the day, and it's like you cannot, if it's a day in June of 2017, you know that it's gonna be another day, most probably another injury, Unfortunately, that's how you're thinking. And Tyler Austin has this sore hamstring right now, and Joe Girardi said is is not getting better, and they're thinking about possibly DLing him. Um, also, some other news on Greg Bird. He says that Greg Bird does still doesn't feel too good, and uh, I don't know what's going on. He's he must have seen like fifteen thousand specialists. They can't they don't know what's going on. He's like I don't even think that he's even gonna he might not even play this season, which has left the Yankees in a situation where they may need to go out there and go get a first baseman from somewhere. I don't know where, but um, let me know in the comments who you think that they should get. Should they get somebody like Yonder Alonso? Should they go to the Marlins try to get Justin Bauer? Um, you know, people like that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. But um, 
today was the day for the bats, man, and Miguel Andujar came in, and from the first inning, Yankees capitalized on mistakes, and we all know that the White Sox make mistakes, uh, but... Yankees do capitalize on mistakes in the first inning, grab a quick 3-0 lead on the back of Miguel Andujar also, who ends up getting his first base hit, and it being a two-run single. Miguel Andujar actually ended up getting three hits today and ended up having four RBIs. I mean, the kid was just great. I mean, he has... Oh, my God. I just hope this, this is uh, something you know, something great to come, seriously, because it is nice to see when your homegrown players are doing that. There's a reason why you have a 40-man roster and you gotta, you, you can be able to use it. But today's lineup was something we're not used to because seven out of our nine starters today were all Yankee homegrown. At the at-bat of the game, though, it was 3-2, um, Tanaka just finished getting out of an inning, didn't give up the lead, and Wade was up. Now, Wade came up yesterday, had some good at-bats, but today he came up, same thing, put together a good at-bat, and you know what? He raked a double, bro. I mean, he was, he, he raked a double for his base hit, and then that, I, I thought, was the at-bat of the game, because it kind of opened up the floodgates. Yankees ended up scoring and reaching eight runs on that inning, capping it off with the Aaron Judge bomb that I thought, off the bat, I'm like, oh, that's a double, you know, and it just shot out. It kept going. And you know what? I heard that he even, as he was rounding the bases, he was looking up at the right field bleachers and kind of uh, giving them like, hey, what's up? What's up? Because uh, they were kind of getting on him all night, saying he sucks and all that. And then he hit the home run. He was looking at him like, yo, what's good? What's good? What's good? He was on base again three times today. Two walks for Judge. It's like every day the guy's on base, whether they're not pitching to him, but when he gets those pitches, he is smacking them. He is. So, Gary Sanchez could have had three hits today, but had nothing to show for it. It was just right at people. That's just baseball. That's just what it is. You had home run from Didi, a two-run bomb from Didi, base hits from uh, Gregory, up and down the lineup, everybody really did contribute today, and it was a nice, really nice team win. Everybody's having fun. The kids come up, it's just, and I'm talking about kids, like there aren't already kids on the lineup, but, you know, new kids come up, they get their first base hit, and you get to experience that with them. I'm, I'm assuming that that's exciting for all of them, so um, that's always nice to see. But right now the Yankees got to go in tomorrow behind Sessa, win this game, win three out of four, even though we could have, right now, we could have been going for the sweep, but we can't do anything about that. Go in there tomorrow, finish out this series, three or four, to then set up for a series that I'm going to actually this weekend and face the Astros, who are the best team in the American League, and hopefully just, you know, Get some wins out there, man. Get two wins out there, and that's it. I mean, the Yankees are back in first place. But in all honesty, I think right now, the number one priority for the Yankees, don't think about first place. Don't think about the last 14 games, 15 games. People always want to, oh, the Yankees have been 11 out of their last 15 games. Look, don't even think about that anymore. Right now, the first priority should be getting to five uh, to 10 games over 500. If the Yankees can get to 10 games over 500, get to that watermark, fine. Set that benchmark. Then your next goal should be get to 15 games over 500. Once you get to that watermark, then you get to 20 games over 500. That's basically, those are the steps that you want to take. Those should be the goals. And um, that should be what we should be worrying about right now. Not worrying about first place. The rest of us are going to do what the rest of us are going to do. The Orioles are going to do what the Orioles are going to do. Tampa Bay is going to do what they're going to do. But all we can control is the people that we're playing in front of us right now. So uh, let's go ahead. Let's get these wins. Let's finish up this series tomorrow. And um, big ups to the kids, man. And uh, right now, they're still trying to decide what to do with Tyler Austin to see if they're going to DL him. He's going to go for some tests tomorrow. But another baby bomber might be making a debut soon, and his name is Dustin Fowler. Um, he sat out today's game suspiciously. Nobody knew what was going on, but uh, he might come up tomorrow if they do find that the test um, 
uh, do say that he required that Tyler Austin requires a DL stint. So we'll see with that. I'm really excited for Fowler though, because I feel like the kid's a stud. I do. Like I like uh, I like Frazier. I love Glaber Gle Torres. I love all of our other prospects. But I feel like he's ov overlooked a little bit. And guys coming into his power, he has A plus defense, a nice arm, guy speed. I mean, he's. He's good, man. He's good, and I feel like he's overlooked. And I feel like he, when he, if he comes up here, I feel like he's gonna make an impact. I really do. But, uh, but like I always say, guys, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, subscribe. If this is your first time on the channel. I do a lot of Yankee reaction videos. Um, and thank you so much for watching. Yeah. And um, as I always say, guys, make sure you do keep your pinstripes hey, on and on keep your pinstripes strong. And let's go Yankees, man. Peace. Continental, and anything I got is not a